Animals are awesome. They radiate charisma, confidence, and vitality. Here's a brief quiz that will help you find out what your very own guardian animal is and adopt some of its amazing, authentic traits. Pick your answers, don't forget to count your score, and see the results at the end of this video. Pick the landscape that you like the most. African savanna adds 2 points to your score. If you chose these beautiful tropical flowers, add 3 points to your score. Snowy mountains add 0 points, and coniferous forests gives you 1 point. Here's the next question. Do you feel connected with animals? Nope. Of course. Well, it depends. I like them more than humans. Option A adds one point to your score. If you chose B, add three points to your score. Answer C costs two points, and D brings you zero points. How would you describe yourself? Smart, beautiful, lucky, hardworking. A adds one point to your score. If you picked option B, take two points. Option C adds three points. And answer D brings you zero points. Pick the sky and clouds that you like the most. This delicate surprise brings you three points. If you liked the thunder clouds, add one point to your score. Romantic sunset lovers get two points. And the starry night sky brings you zero points. What do you do if you see a spider in your home? I scream and run away from home. Nothing. I let it go. I take a picture. I give it a name and we become best friends. Option A adds zero stars to your score. B brings you one point. Answer C is worth two points. And D brings you three points. What taste do you prefer most of all? Salty? Sweet, spicy, neutral. If your choice is option A, add one point to your score. Answer B adds zero points. Answer C brings you two points. And answer D is worth three points. What are you scared of the most? My own thoughts. The dark. Being a failure. Insects. Card A brings you one point. Option B adds two points to your score. If you chose C, add three points to your score. And answer D brings you zero points. Do you feel like a leader? I don't, but who if not me? Never, that's the worst job ever. Always, I like to control everything. I wish I had enough courage. If you picked option A, add two points to your score. Option B brings you one point. Option C is worth three points. And answer D brings you zero points. If we ask your best friend to describe you in just one emoji, what would it be? Laughing, crying, poker face, heart. A brings three points to your score. If you chose B, add zero points to your score. Option C brings you one point, and option D adds two points. Would you rather work in a group or alone? Alone. In a group. Depends on the task. I prefer working in pairs. If you picked option A, add three points to your score. Option B brings you two points. Option C is worth zero points. 
and answer D brings you one point. Which music genre do you like the most? Classical, rap, disco, rock. A adds zero points to your score. B brings you three points. C adds two points, and D adds one point. If you could make one wish come true, which one would you pick? To be immortal. To become super beautiful. To become super rich. To make all creatures in the universe happy. A brings you zero points in this round. Option B adds two points. C is worth one point. And answer D adds three points. If you could pick just one of these four jobs, which would you choose? Firefighter, I'm ready to take risks to save lives. Fashion designer, making people look beautiful is my passion. Pilot, flying makes me feel so free. Chef, preparing food always makes me happy. If you chose A, add one point to your score. Option B brings you two points. C adds zero points. And answer D brings you three points. Are you confident? I try to be. No. Yep, I'm the most confident. I tend to overthink every action. If you picked option A, add three points to your score. Option B brings you one point. C adds two points. And answer D brings you zero points. What do you usually do when you feel upset? Talk with my therapist. Go outdoors and play a sport. Listen to music. Go shopping. If you chose A, add zero points to your score. Option B brings you one point. C costs three points. And answer D brings you two points. Pick one element. Air. Fire. Water. Earth. If you chose A, add zero points to your score. Option B adds two points. Option C is worth three points, and answer D brings you one point. Do you get along with your family? Not really. I take care of myself on my own. Yeah, I can't imagine my life without them. We share some similar interests. Well, let's just say I'm still waiting for my magic school invitation. If you chose A, add one point to your score. Option B brings you two points. C adds three points. And answer D brings you zero points. Pick an item of clothing. The hat brings zero points to your score. If you picked the glitter coat, grab your two points. The pair of jeans brings you one point, And the swimsuit brings you three points. Pick the dance style that you like the most. Ballet dancers bring zero points to your score. The contemporary dancer brings you three points. If you pick the tango, grab one point. And the Brazilian carnival brings you two points. Which one represents you? Cozy, funny, kind. Modest, loyal, trustworthy. Careless, adventurous, spontaneous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Option A adds three points to your score. Option B brings you one point. If you chose C, you get zero points. And answer D brings you two points. Pick a flower. Lilies, 
mysterious, just like me. Daisies, they give me a peaceful and warm vibe. Peonies, there's something royal about them. Narcissus, they're so soft and elegant. Card A adds one point to your score. Option B brings you three points. If you chose C, grab your two points. And answer D brings you zero points. What pet would you rather have? Cat, dog, bird, iguana, obviously. Card A adds three points to your score. Option B is worth two points. C brings you zero points. And answer D brings you one point. Ready for the results? Make sure you calculated your score correctly, and let's go! If your score is between 0 and 16 points, congratulations! Your guardian animal is an owl. The wise creature protects you from all kinds of troubles and helps you through difficult times. It also makes you attentive enough to see fake friendships and the evil motives in other people. Sometimes you might feel insecure like you're from another planet, but don't give up. Allow yourself to make space for long-term prosperity and well-being. Whenever you face injustice or feel less confident, your owl guard will help you calm down and step into your power again. If your score is between 16 and 32 points, your totem animal is a wolf. You probably like to stay in the shadows and allow your noisy friends to take away the whole spotlight. Your soul guardian teaches you to value independence, self-sufficiency, and calmness. Walking alone and journaling can help you rediscover your authentic self. People tend to perceive you as a deep, mysterious person. They want to learn more about your inner world. So, if someone ever violates your boundaries, just make one of those angry wolf looks. If you got from 32 to 48 points, your sole protector is a lion. This animal can teach you to overcome pride and egocentrism in order to become a kind-hearted and generous leader. People come to you for advice all the time because you radiate confidence and humor. Every dream seems possible when they're around you. Although, your supply of love for people is almost inexhaustible. Sometimes, you need a break. So, manage your energy wisely and don't allow people to take advantage of you. If you got from 48 to 66 points, your guardian animal is a whale. It can teach you to vibe with the ocean and enjoy life as it is every step of the way. This feeling of oneness, unity, and wisdom will help you navigate through life as if you are dancing with the waves. Try to cherish this state of mind and observe the drama of life from a detached point of view, like an experienced film director or a music composer. This will give you the capacity to invent progressive solutions that improve people's lives and the environment. I've prepared an animal test for you. I'll show you a picture, and your task is to say which animal it is. Sounds easy? Let's see. Don't forget to keep score, and in the end, we'll show you how well you did. We'll start with something easy, and then it'll get harder. The first one, this animal. Who is it? What do you think? Of course, it's an elephant. Elephants are the biggest land animals, and their trunks are incredibly sensitive. And Asian elephants can pick up a peanut and even shell it. Next up, this one here. Who is it? This one is for sure a turtle. Did you know that it's not DNA that determines the gender of newborn turtles? It's the temperature in the nest. If the temperature is cool, the hatchlings will be male. If the temperature is warm, the hatchlings will be female. Who do you think this cutie is? It's a penguin. Humans give flowers to their loved ones to show affection and appreciation. But penguins give rocks to each other. Also, penguins can control the blood flow in their feet. That's why they don't freeze. I know you know this one, so shoot your shot. Of course, it's a squirrel. These guys take their food seriously. They can find it beneath a whole foot of snow. Also, they can fake bury a nut to dupe potential thieves. Still, they lose about 25% of their buried food to other squirrels. What about this animal? Do you recognize it?
Yes, it's a fox. Did you know they can make around 40 different sounds? Another well-known animal. Who is it? It's a giraffe. Their coat patterns are unique. There are no two giraffes with the same pattern. Also, they only drink once a few days, even when the water is nearby. What is this animal? That's a camel. They can live for weeks without a single drop of water, even more than giraffes. Just for comparison, a human can only last three days without water. But when camels do drink, they can drink around 40 gallons in a go. You must know this one well. Who is it? It's a hippo, of course. They really love grass and can eat like 80 pounds of it in one night. And yes, they sleep during the day and get active at night. This one, what is it? That's a rhino for sure. Turns out, rhinos have quite poor eyesight. If you stay 100 feet away from them and don't move, they won't see you. But they do have a strong sense of smell, so this helps. Also, they love mud. They roll in it to get a protective layer that protects them from insects and keeps them cool. Who do you think this one is? It's a skunk. Did you know that they are immune to snake venoms and can even eat dangerous snakes? What about this cute animal? Do you recognize it? It's a harp seal. And this white furry coat makes them one of the most adorable animals on the planet. But the coat doesn't last long. Harp seals only have them until they're about six weeks old. What about this? What is it? It's a scorpion. These guys are actually older than the dinosaurs. Also, they can live a year without food. And they glow in the dark. What about this big guy? Do you know who he is? That's a moose. Did you know that they only live in places where there is snow in winter? Tell me what animal this one is. It's a wolf. Turns out they're born completely blind and deaf. Of course, later it changes. A grown wolf can hear what's going on six miles away. Also, they have around 200 million smell cells. What about this animal? Do you know what it is? Orangutan. They're very intelligent and they even use tools like sticks and even self-made gloves out of leaves when dealing with thorny branches. I know you know this one well, so just hit it. This is a meerkat. They live in deserts and they don't need water to live. They get all the needed moisture from the insects and other foods they eat. What about this one? Do you know its name? Tasmanian Devil. Their bite is so hard that they can crush bones. They also like to scream loudly and they do that to scare off other animals. And a fun fact, they store their fat in the tails. Next up, this one. Who is it? That's a squid, of course. Squids have three hearts. Also, they eat other squids that are smaller. Can you recognize this fish? It's an electric eel. Their shock is so powerful that it can knock off a horse. Also, they have poor eyesight, so they have to release a weak electric signal to navigate. What do you think this cute animal is? It's a red panda. Their diet is 97% bamboo. The other 3% include eggs, 
flowers, and small mammals. What do you think this is? It's a warthog. These guys are vegetarians, and even though they're strong, they prefer to run over fighting. Also, they enjoy being groomed, so they allow monkeys to do that. Okay, here's the next one for you. Does it look familiar? It's a porcupine. Their name actually means thorn pig. They're actually shy creatures and good swimmers. As for their quills, it's actually a myth that they can shoot them at predators. However, they're easily detached, so if you ever touch them, the quills are likely to stick to your hand. Who is this? It's a groundhog. They sleep all winter and are also impressive builders. Their homes can be as long as 60 feet. This animal must be quite easy to guess. Who is it? Of course, it's a platypus. Did you know that they are lethally venomous? But no worries, no case was yet recorded. Okay, what about this guy? This is an aardvark. He's actually the first word in an English dictionary. They live on the African continent and they don't walk fully on their feet, just on their toes. Next up, this one with crazy eyes. What's your call? This one is called Ai Ai and it's native to Madagascar, but it doesn't have a good reputation there. Some native people believe that Ai Ai's bring bad luck. What about this cute guy right here? That's a prairie dog. Don't let their cute looks trick you. They're quite fierce. Also, they are very intelligent and have advanced vocabulary. Not only can they warn their buddies that a human is approaching. What about this bird? This is an okapi. They belong to the giraffe family and they only live in one country now, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Humans only discovered them a bit over a hundred years ago in 1901. No, it's not a Pokemon. It's an actual animal that exists in real life. What's it called? That's a nudie branch. It's a sea slug living in shallow waters all over the oceans. Another easy one for you. Who is it? Yes, it's a mink. Just like cats, they purr when they're happy. Do you know who this is? That's a margay. No one knows for sure how many of them there are globally. What's this cute animal? It's a pika. They're related to rabbits, but they're pikas. They actually have tails, but you can't see them because they're hidden under the fur. Last question, probably the hardest one. What is this? It's called a tardigrade. It's a microscopic animal that's been on Earth for 600 million years and have survived through the Earth's all big five extinction events and will likely survive any apocalypse. So, how many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.